right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, we provide praise, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kakadash, the ones to the elders and apostles, the great millstone, who rule well, teach well, be your greatest sound touch, young brothers. And peace, best of all, full length, but willing we be a part of that number. All right, I'm the brother Kodar from the Demons Brand Chicago. Come back another video. This video is going to be entitled uh, Trim or Be Trimmed. All right, uh, we are not needed. All right, and um, are we out? And we all know that the Lord, you know, has shown mercy to us in these last days, you know, waking us up, all right, because uh, truly none of us deserve mercy, all right, and that's um, something we got to constantly meditate on, you know, because, and it's true, you got to chase the Lord, man, you know, the Lord will not chase you, you know, once you realize the Lord doesn't need you, all right, you need him, you know, it, it makes everything different, you know, it gives you a different drive. You know, it gives you uh, more motivation, man. You know, more fire. All right, to prove to him, you know, that you want to do right. All right, it says, um, uh, just just uh, meditating on something real quick. You know, let's say if your your woman uh, mess up, all right, you mad at her. You know, she doing everything possible to make it right. You know, that's that's what we're doing uh, to the Lord, man. You know, we're trying to get on His good side, man. Trying to get that mercy. All right, and the elder brother just made this uh, elder brother Ariala, Ariala, you know, from Dallas. All right, uh, so like if I got his name wrong. All right, uh, made a lesson called Take the Initiative. All right, and uh, I'm going to read the definition. It says, the ability to assess and initiate things independently, the power or opportunity to act or to take charge before others do. All right. Hey, we got to take initiative. All right, we got to be initiative in this truth, man. All right, you got to you gotta pull your own weight. All right, you got to examine yourself, man. Okay? I had a couple precepts lined up. You know, this is uh, Revelations 3 and 15. It says, I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would that thou were cold or hot. So then... Because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. And a lot of guys are being spewed. All right? A lot of guys are being spewed out. All right? Because the Lord either wants you all the way in or you all the way out. You know, you can't be fighting if you want to be in the world or you're in the truth. Because you obviously in the world. Because <laughs> if you're in the truth, you're going to be fully in the truth, man. So the Lord is going to spew you out. All right? Can't be half assing it, man. Even niggas in the world. Don't want you half assing, man. Even in their wickedness. <laughs> All right. You in a fucking gang, man. You can't be in a gang life and um and not in a gang life, man. All right. You're gonna get uh uh checked, so to say. Or whatever. All right. Hey, the Lord wants you to be all the way in or you all the way out, man. There is no in between. Okay? There's no in between between the Lord, man. Okay, a lot of guys are being spewed out, man. All right, and I've been I've been noticing, you know, um, the more guys fall out, you know, the tighter the camps are, man. All right, just uh, speaking, you know, in my camp specifically, GM in Chicago, I've noticed the 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 bond brothers are uh, brothers bond are being more tight, you know, brothers are being more knit together, you know, brothers are bonding more. All right, why? Because the fat is being trimmed. The people that's not supposed to be there are being uh, spewed out by the Lord. Okay? So that way, other brothers can grow. All right? It's like a, a tree. I forgot the name of the tree. You know, but it grows over every tree. Uh, majority, of the, majority of trees, all right, and the, and, and the plants under it, all right, doesn't get to grow because it blocks all the sunlight. All right? I forgot the name of the tree. You know, a brother could comment it. Bible could shop, but um, you know, and when that tree is finally cut down, then the plants all around it finally grows. All right, and I'm using that analogy because as the more uh, fat is being trimmed, man, the more you see brothers are growing. All right, us young brothers are growing, man. You know, through the spirit power, Yahweh by Shemel shot. Okay, because the Lord is is raising up a nations of uh um, of rulers, man. All right. And there's a certain type of way you gotta be. All right. This is um, 
this is an example of what not to be. This is uh, 2 Timothy 4 and 10. It says, For Demas have forsaken, forsaken me, having loved this present world, and has departed into Thessalonica, Cretans to Galatia, Titus unto uh, Dalmatia. All right, so we, we, we're not supposed to be like this, man. You know, we're not supposed to be like demons. It said he's uh, love uh, this present world, man. All right? It ain't none for it ain't none for us to love here, man. It ain't none for us to be attached to. All right, all this shit is wicked and polluted. All right, and it's a vexation ultimately, man. All right, we don't the elect don't want no part of this place, man. All right, we, hey, we Lord willing, we be able to elect, man. We don't want this, this place is vexing, man. We want to be delivered. All right, we want to be delivered out of this hellhole, man. All right, and if you want to be here, you going you gonna get destroyed along with this place, man. All right, that's your judgment. Okay? That's your judgment, man. Hey, so this... Uh, matter of fact, I'm going to read this scripture real quick. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 6 and 12. It says, All things are lawful unto me, but all things are not expedient. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be brought under the power of any. All right? So some things are okay to do, but it's not best to do for you personally, man. All right? And it can ultimately cause you to become unbalanced all right ultimately you'll just destroy yourself man you know that's why i titled this lesson trim or be trim you know because not everything is for every brother you know certain habits brothers got is not uh um uh, uh, uh beneficial for their spirit man you know brothers getting too caught up in the flesh or in a drinking or you know their woman and whatnot all right that's that stuff uh you, you giving all your time and energy into that You know, like the elder in Dallas always say You know, where where's the time and energy for the truth, man? Alright, hey, you gotta be balanced In this truth, man Alright? Because it's easy to go overboard Alright, it's easy to go overboard it, it, It's a must to be balanced in this thing, man Alright, you gotta watch what you give it over your energy to Alright, you gotta constantly examine yourself Alright, and a lot of brothers' flaws go under the radar you know, I was uh, talking to an elder brother about this. A lot of brothers' flaws going on the radar, but that's because they're actually examining themselves, man. All right, the brothers that flaws go before the whole congregation, they don't examine themselves. All right? Then they uh, go uh, constantly getting uh, corrected. You know? You know, so it's important for brothers to examine themselves, man. All right? This is... um. Romans 14 and 5, it says, uh, One man esteemeth one day above another, another esteemeth every day alike. Let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. All right, it says, Let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind, man. Okay? You gotta be, <laughs> hey, you gotta be really in this thing, man. All right, you gotta really accept, all right, the truth. All right, accept that this is the work of the Lord. All right, and ultimately, Count that cross. I mean, uh, count that cost, man. All right. Hey, because an another brother cannot make you serve the Lord. If you don't want to, like the elder brother Matati said, all right, if you don't care about the Lord, I mean, if you don't care about your salvation, I won't either. All right, if you do, I, I, I definitely do. You know, but if you don't care about your salvation, I won't either, man. I won't give a fuck about it. All right. All right, and it goes back to being uh, uh, one foot in the world and one foot in the truth. All right, because you was fully in this truth, man. All right, you wouldn't be uh, 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 having those type of struggles, man. All right, if you was fully uh, uh, applying the scriptures, all right, some 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 things brothers be going through. It's just like, how many times do a brother got to correct you on this topic, man? All right, are you actually applying the precepts? All right, because, you know... Uh, uh, like Nadazaki always say, man, it's more than just being a Saturday Israelite. You actually gotta apply these precepts, man. The Lord test is the Lord is testing all of our words, man. Okay, you said this. Okay, let me try you on that. All right, so we actually gotta apply these precepts, man. All right, fully be you gotta fully be persuaded that this is the truth, man. This is what's gonna get us salvation. All right. And if that's not your mindset, then you out of there, man. Okay, the Lord, it, it, 
the Lord is uh really getting a lot getting rid of a lot of uh not quote unquote nonchalant jakes, man. All right, because the Lord ain't, ain't, ain't rocking with that nonchalant spirit. You got to be on fire for this thing, man. All right, fuck being nonchalant. All right, we got to be, uh, what they say, addicted to this truth, man. Okay, so, um, Lord willing, this is an edifying video. Right, I think the point was made. All right, um, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kapadash. That one us to the apostle that was great millstone. Peace, best to the old four leg. Lord willing, we be a part of that number. All right, Shalom and Kwam Yasharala.